So welcome to my review of the Hibi uh, FC1, which is a USB type to type C audio adapter. Obviously it's high res and this uses a ES9270 uh, DAC, which is actually pretty good. I've actually tried this before in the Sonata uh, HD2 from Tempotech and it works quite well. It does support inline microphone and as usual, full disclaimer is I got this from uh, AliExpress, from the actual Hibi official store. I was not paid to do this video, and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is my first product from uh, Hibi themselves. Like I said, it's the FC1, so it's a Type-C um, to 3.5 audio adapter. Use the ESS9270, like I said. High-res model. Does DSD up to 128 if that really matters to you? So just some company information there, nothing there, nothing there. Yeah. I've already been using this, I've already I've already kind of cheated and it does work perfectly fine. It actually uses a plastic construction. Kind of a little bit tricky to get out. Yeah, I will edit. I will edit that out. <laughs> so using some magic, I've opened it. So before I even get into any of that, so it's a plastic construction. So as you can see, it's not very big. So it's, um, for example, here's a USB flash drive. It, it's very small. So there is a, a new model above this called the above this one called the. Um, I'm not sure the model number, it looks exactly the same. It's about, I think, 20, 30 pound more, which uses a CyberDAC, but I haven't tried that. Volume control, this is why I really wanted to get it. Um, that lights up multiple colors. There's four colors, but I'll, I'll describe that further on in the video. And obviously 3.5. This does support inline microphones as well, which I will show you later on in the video in Windows 10, but just, support it so you get high res sticker if that matters to you there is it so you get this kind of little cover i've not actually tried it with the cover it's kind of cool that i actually show that which is not too bad type c if it will focus Yes, yeah, so a Type C to Type C OTG. Got the branding on. Type C to three point. Uh, sorry, Type C to USB A, which you can use obviously with a computer. Works fine on Windows Ten. Perfect, and it works fine on Android. So you use whatever cable to suit your use case. So it was QC'd on the second of March. If that's correct. Again, mine works fine. Uh, official chop. Not shop, but the official chop. If you want to scan that. There you go. More music. Make music more musical. Yeah, so just 30, up to 32 bit 384. There's some information. Again, DSD information there. On the back, obviously in English. So yeah, like I said, the 9270. Just PCM to 3084. There's the colors. So red, when it's just plugged in, not doing anything. Blue is up to 32, um, bit 48 kilohertz, which is what most music is. And then obviously you go up above that, it's green and then Power green, it looks more like a kind of a yellow, the power green, to be honest. Supports all headphones with a TRS and CTIA. Miked headsets. And yet, it does support microphone. So volume up, volume down, hold. So it actually skips tracks as well, um, which is pretty cool. There's the Type-C information. It does work on Windows, see here. It does actually work on Windows 7, because I have the drivers installed, it works fine. Windows 10 is like automatic and it does use the Hibi music app so the Android app it does support that and yeah so 
next clip I'll show you what it looks like in Windows 10 and then after that we'll be the review as you can see here this is using Windows 10 it comes up here obviously this is the playback tab I will show recording tab in a second so the playback comes up as as you can see the uh, Hibi FC one I haven't used any drivers at all but you can use the, the actual pack. I think it includes the ASIO drivers if you need that. But it is actually plug and play for Windows 10. On Windows 7 you need the drivers and it works fine that way. But anyway, this is it here. As you can see, it's my default device. Click Properties. And you get four tabs. Levels, 100%. The microphone is here as well. Plus that's in its own tab, which I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, maxed out 100%. So advanced. Um, I've changed it to 24 bit 96 just for an example but you do obviously you can pick from all these it also does DSD but I think you need the actual drivers for that and yeah special sound spatial sound is off left to that but you can choose what you want also when you pick different ones it does change to a different color but I will show you that on the actual Hibi page itself because it's very um, it, the explanation is very thorough. So just close that. So recording. It does support inline controls. This here is just the one I'm using to record this um, voiceover, but it does support inline controls. Uh, sorry, inline microphone. I'm using my Xiaomi Pro HD, just for an example that's plugged in there. So click properties. Listen levels. By default, it was 100%. You may need to change it to whatever microphone you use. So click Advanced. And yeah, it actually does 24 bit, 48 kilohertz, and 16 bit. It's good to see doing high bit depth like that, which is quite good. And yeah, that's it. So it's all there. But you have to make sure for Windows to find it. And the same on a phone. You have to plug the earphones into it first and then plug it into the device. Otherwise, that, that's what basically wakes it up. And that's it. So this is the actual product page on the actual website. As you can see, there's the link. $35. This goes up and down a bit on the AliExpress page, which I'll show you briefly as well. But anyway, what it is, like I've shown you in unboxing, is a uh, USB DAC amp amplifier or type c audio adapter it does all those things so 3.5 jack it does support the hibi music app which is if you don't have that it's very useful if you run it android high res certification 70 milliwatts at 32 ohms and there's dsd 128 that's what it looks like i like as you've seen in the actual unboxing it's very small that's what it is there more on the right hand side the colors do change which i will show you again it does support the hibi app it just say you can use the actual you can use it exclusively you'll see if you use the app supports high res it's got the es9270 which is the same as the sonata hd2 from tempo tech but that's a little bit cheaper but it's got no buttons and the cable is attached so Slightly different use case. There's 32 bit 384, which you saw in Windows 10. Hardware buttons. These are the colors here. So red is when it's just in use, and the other three are higher sample rates. And that's everything you get, which you saw. There's the specs. And yeah, it's actually onto the AliExpress page. Get rid of that. So as you can see here, the price fluctuates a bit, £26, but just on here it was $35. So, been down. Very, very similar information. Key here is 30 steps, which is more than enough if you've got sensitive earphones. So, you can do things step by step instead of pressing the volume once and it jumping up too much. There is a good degree of volume control, which is good the unit does get warm as well which i'm want to note it doesn't get hot it just gets warm but it is a plastic case i haven't really seen any issues these there you can as you say you can use it with the hibi app 
and you can give it USB direct access, which is quite good. So there, just the information about the DAC, the volume, 70 plus 70, which is quite good. Hard to fault for the price. So here, like I said, red is when it's connected but not plain. Blue is obviously 32 up to 48 kilohertz. That's up to 889192. And basically above that is light green. I've tried that and it does work. That is that is correct. And that's the information there. And there's some reviews below. And yeah, on to my actual conclusion. Now on to my kind of review slash conclusion. As you saw in the previous clip, this is very well um, documented, documented. It's it's got a lot of functionality, shall we say, 70 milliwatt, 32 ohm, which is the same. I know this is the, the Mizu model, if it focuses, but imagine that this is the Tempo Tech Sonata HD2, because I don't have it with me at the moment. Um, the Sonata HD2, which imagine this is, is the same DAC, but like this is attached wire, this HD2 is an attached wire. They both got the same functionality, but the Sonata 2 is a little bit cheaper. But basically what you lose is you get an attached cable and no volume control. So with this you can use it with a phone or computer. It does have volume control. It does light up with the status. I do like that when it's red, it's showing that it's actually working, just not receiving any signal, shall we say, which is quite good. It's very light. It's a plastic shell which works fine, it does get a bit warm, but overall I think it works really well, like the volume steps are kind of small as well, so it's good for something sensitive, well, really sensitive. Output impedance seems really low, um, but yeah, as you saw on AliExpress, it's around £24. Yeah, just bear in mind, because the price changes a bit, but the maximum is $35. But yeah, I think I do like this. I do like the DAC in it, which is quite good. Obviously, it is a lower end Sabre DAC, but it just worked very well, so I can't really say anything. And yeah, so it works on Windows 7, 10, uh, Android, not a problem at all. Button, the buttons work well. Driver support supports DSD. It has enough power for most of the earphones I've tried, actually probably all the earphones I've tried work really well. It's not really for headphones, it can power easy to power headphones without a problem. Uh, sound quality, it doesn't really have any anything outstanding, shall we say, like wrong with it. It just sounds neutral is the best way. I say the build's quite good. There is a model above this which I can't remember, but it has the 9281 chipset which supports MQA but apart from that it seems to have exactly the same functionality it's just a chip upgrade it's also got the same power output so I don't know if that model is actually worth it I forgot the name but you'll you'll see when you search for it it's the one that's up above this it's silver in color um, but yeah I I like it it does everything I expect it to do it's really good user it's say if you need a one for your laptop or something with the volume control works well and yeah it works works good i think i've pretty much covered it all it's it hasn't got really any flaws <laughs> any flaws really i've been using this on and off for like a couple of weeks and yeah obviously type c but yeah it's a it's a good product so that's it then the fc one yeah so yeah Good stuff does exactly what i expected to do um, and does it quite affordably just depends on obviously the, the price as you say it can vary quite a bit and yeah thank you very much for watching and take care